In this video, we are going to try to prove that if a radius of a circle is bisecting a chord, then those two things are going to be perpendicular. So what do I mean by this? So we have a chord which is just connecting two points on the circle. So this thing is a chord and let's call it AB and let's call the center of the circle to be O as it's commonly called. And we have a radius drawn to the chord that's bisecting it, dividing it into equal two pieces. And we want to show that they are perpendicular too. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to draw extra lines. I'm going to draw two radiuses to get some triangles. And the reason I'm doing this is when you have triangles, you can have similar triangles or congruent triangles, and they can help you out immensely when you're trying to prove something about the segments or the angles. So let's try this. So, and you know, this side is shared by both of them, and we can call this point to be C. So we know, we know various things. We know AC is equal to BC by and that's given to us. And we know OC is equal to OC. This segment is obviously equal to itself. And since it is a circle, all the radiuses are the same. So OA is also equal to OB. And look at this. We have one triangle with three sides and we have another triangle with exact same three sides. So these two triangles has to be the same. So by side 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 congruence when three sides of a tri three, three sides of two triangles are congruent you know the triangles are congruent or the, exactly the same you know this angle angle aco is equal to angle bco and so you know this angle plus this angle is 180 because they make a line and you know these two angles you know these two angles are equal so the only way that's possible only way that they make a line and they are equal is if each of them is 90 degrees so each of them has to be 90 degrees for them to be the same and for them to make 180 